Yo, it's your boy Pounds. You tune into the Mike Power Show. You f asshole. What's poppin' is your boy Mike Powers back on my interview game today. Before we get to that, make sure if this is your first time on the channel, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and don't forget hit that post notification so you know every time I drop. Also, if you support this channel and support real hip hop, hit the like button. It actually helps. Get busy in the comment section and share this with your people. Now hit the likes for my real hip hop heads only. We doing this one right here for Brooklyn, the home of Big Daddy Kane, J. Ruta Damager, and of course, the legendary Mike Destroyer, Sean Price. Now for me to even speak the God's name in this intro should give my astute listeners and viewers every indication that something very special is about to pop off. There is an album. This album is called Steak and Potatoes. This album features, get this, 36 of the most thoroughbred MCs on the underground right now. And I'm not talking about dudes that's nice. I'm talking everybody on this shit is special forces with top notch security clearances. And the man on the left side of your screen is responsible for not only the creation of this project, but it's also the head of the new label that gave birth to it. Listen, if part of his known and accepted identity is protege of Sean Price, what the fuck else do I need to tell you? Perhaps his name. Ladies and gentlemen, Pimps and hustlers, stand up gangsters and valedictorians. Brownsville, stand the fuck up and help me welcome, for the first time on the Mike Power Show, Rim the villain is in the building. <laughs> it's just Rim, no, it's just Rim. It's just Rim, Rim now. I'm Rim trying to figure that out, and that's name. a question we definitely going to get to, because there's a lot of monikers out there floating around. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. It's a lot of them. <laughs> so, and um, I had to close down my research, or else I wasn't going to get no sleep and be on time for this interview. But, yeah, we're going to get to all of that. Some very interesting questions. bro. thank you for coming and blessing the platform today. How you feel? Oh, man, I feel good, man. I appreciate you guys having me, man. I'm always, I'm always, I always appreciate when people reach out to me, man. It feels good. Shout out to my dude, Jordan Commander. Definitely shout out to Jordan, man. Who reached out to me mm -hmm. and said, you got to talk to this guy. And he talked to me about this album. And I wasn't hip. I can't know everything. No doubt. You know, but, but I'm here now. And what happened was, and my people know, let me take a drink. <laughs> my people know. I blaze one, I'm on the couch, mm -hmm. it's YouTube. They know how I do it. I do this all the time. And so last night, it was all about Rim. Oh, man, that's peace. Jordan, thank you for the introduction. Let me tell you something. What I saw when I went to go look at your work, I saw the essentials, right? I saw a guy that loves hip-hop. I saw oh. a guy that's in tune with the feel of New York and real lyrical hip-hop, and that's what you're projecting out to the people. I appreciated that. So let me, let me get started with this. I see a, a, a ton of promo buzzing for the Steak and Potato album. This is coming off of the record label Porterhouse. Okay? Porterhouse Productions. Porterhouse Production, 36 MCs. It's a lot. I'm, hold on. Before we get started, because people uh -huh. may not know what the fuck I'm talking about, let's get busy. I got a list. Look, this album got Rome Streets on it, Eat Them, 30 mm -hmm. Best, Fly mm -hmm. Anakin, Uncle John, Mav Briggs, Estee Knack, Sky Zoo, mm. Stay Noir, Planet Asia, Moose, Now That's mm. a Pirate, mm. Mm. <laughs> Code Nine, The mm. Hooligan, RJ mm. Payne is on mm. this album, Lord Juco is on this album, mm. Ty Ferris, mm. Detroit Stand Up. Now I'm talking about Tri-State. 
is on this album. Simpson is on this album. Brown Bag Money, Daniel Son is on this album. No Come on club. now. No other fuck. Come on now. Piece of the Jay cup. Yeah. Right. Jay yeah. Nice is on this album. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jay Royale is on this album. Yes, sir. Shout out my nigga Jay so, Royale. Yes, sir. Hype is on the album. Chris Ice Life Gilles. and Nice Life. Yes, sir. Chris Gills is on the album. Eddie Kane. Chris. Soda. Hey, shout out mm. to John Jiggs. That's my homie. John Jiggs is on the album. Bubba Rock is on the album. Who produced? Dr. Walk. He done. He done. Is producing on here. Who else? Fesh. Buck Wild. Woo. Big Ghost. Woo. We got two local cats called Methadone, Methadone Clinic. He, he got some fire. You know what I mean? We got a we got we got um who else we got on there? We got a bunch of other cats, man. We got V Don, like you said. I gotta look it up myself, man. It's so much talented work, man. We just put it all together, man. Shouts out to Nicole Porter. She's the CEO of the label. You know what I mean? She came to me and gave with her vision, and I'm not just man, I just made it into reality, man. Word up. Hey, yo, um, shout out to Nicole Porter. Yeah. Yo, uh, y'all, y'all gotta interview her too, man. Like she's the, like yo, she's so like fucking real with this shit, bro. She's not a vulture. She's like she's the first female CEO. You know what I mean? Like yo, man. I've been on her page. Crazy. I've been on her page. Right. And I see the conversations that go back and forth. I see the people that she have a conversation with. Right. High respected people. So mm-hmm. while I may not know her on that level, the people that's vouching for her, yeah, I respect them. So yes, yes sir. that's something I had thought maybe I should talk to her. That will happen down the line for sure. Please do. Please um, do. Yes, so. sir. And so all of these people on this project, which I listened to it yesterday. I had to post about it. The mm-hmm. album is amazing. The album, oh, watch man. this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch me fuck motherfuckers up. This is, <laughs> this is, this is your space. And I'm going to get out the way in a minute. I'm going to get out the way. But let me just say this. It's a classic. Oh, man, appreciate that, bro. And I just that wanted to lot, say man. that and let everybody... I know 20% of the people that's watching this right now, they say, he lying. <laughs> but watch this. This is why. Why do I say it's a classic? And I've called, I call Fly Art by Jay Nice and Rush a classic. See, y'all think mm-hmm. because it's not Billboard Top 200, you know what I mean? Or Hip Hop DX ain't talking about it. It's not. I'm going to tell you why it's a classic. What's your definition music, of, what is your definition of a classic? I'm talking to my audience right now. What's your definition of a classic? Okay, check this out. Suppose it's an album, and the album got, let's just say, 13 songs on it. Let's say 14. Suppose out of those 14 songs, nine of them is flames. Nine out of 14. Is that uh-huh. a classic? Yeah, it's a classic. Suppose there's an album that got no skippable joints on it. Uh-huh. That's classic, bro. That was that's, that's, I, listened I listened to an album last night that had no skippable joints. It was called Steak and Potatoes. Oh, man. Whew. I am not moving. Bro. Bro. Watch this. I take it up a step further because I don't talk shit and then walk mm-hmm. away and act like I didn't say shit. You listen mm-hmm. to the album, you hear some skippable fucking joints, or you hear an album that's not a classic, get at me in the comments. That's all. Get at me. Mm-hmm. I guarantee mm-hmm. you, my ears work, bro. That's what it is. Right. So That's what it is. Tell me about the importance of not only this project, but the movement that you're trying to build with this label. Basically, man, this project is a, the, the reason why we started with this project is to show that we're, we're a premium label. And that's all we're going to give you is premium shit. We're going to like, like, you, like the project itself, man. There's names on there and features on there that people that haven't been featured together ever. You know what I mean? They never got on the song together. And like I, I say with Edo, Fly Anakin, and Sp- I'm not Fly Anakin, Edo, um uncle john and um spoda like that's one of my favorites man just because it's you know what i mean like i love spoda's energy you know what i mean shout out the world because that's my guy and fucking Edo and uncle john man like them two together is just like crazy then i add spoda in the mix and then that beat shots out methadone that shit just is crazy man like the shit really just so that's the, that's the type of shit we're trying to give you man we're just trying to give you premium shit and not saying everyone else is, isn't doing that but I just want to make, like, I'm, I'm an MC. I, I, I've been in this game. I see what's going on. So I just want to make sure that everything that, that this label gives you is going to be premium shit all the time. And, and like you said, man, if I can't make it classic, I'm going to make it damn near classic material. You know what I'm oh, saying? That's yeah. all I'm trying to make. Timeless shit, man. That's what, and I, 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 when I listen to it, so 
you got some of the best boom bap on there. See some boom bap early in, in, in this project. It's such it's listen, y'all gotta hear this. And uh, and you also you into that new sound that we move into now. And it's done right. beautifully. Um you got all these heavy bar spitters on there. Was your intent to show the world um that it's a plethora of talent out here on this underground? Oh, uh, oh definitely. Are, are you making a statement about East Coast hip hop with this project? Ah. So so um, you know, we we have we have artists from everywhere on the project, man. So it's not a, uh, basically a statement on you know, on East Coast hip hop. It's just a statement on bars, period, man. Like it's a bunch, like it's a bunch of talented motherfuckers that's not on the project that's going on part two that we didn't get to put on there. So definitely, it's the showcase, you know, all the talent that's out there and to show that, man, you know, that music isn't one sided, man. Like it's it's like I I don't hate on the on the on the new music on the on the young people shit. You know, what I mean, I actually enjoy some of that shit. No, you, you know don't have to, I do that. I do that for you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no doubt. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy some of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say I agree with a lot of this shit, but I just think a lot. I think just think that it's one sided right now. You know what I mean? Like, why does it have to be one fucking sided when it's a bunch of people from every fucking everywhere, from every coast, from every state, making the type of music I like? You know what I mean? Showing bars, giving real feel music. That's that's gonna fucking last. Not this fucking one, you know, one song shit that you know these. these and shouts out to the young boys because I'm glad they they getting these these little deals, but they getting shitted on and they can't well, even listen. They, got, they can't even do the music, man. I gotta say it like this because I thought about this the other day because I know a lot of people that's around my age have started to say, you know, let's give these guys, you know, they respect. I don't want to be part of something that's trying to take money out of a young brother's pocket, regardless mm. if I like your music or not. But you right. Right, it's it's the balance is what it is. That's it, bro. The agenda of the industry, which is, which is not to come on and put money behind people that's doing real stuff. Gone are the days where a group like Public Enemy, even though they back on now, but uh, still, uh, or and we don't we don't know the extent to that. So let's not and not. Right. Well, we know Chuck. We know Chuck is not gonna do no bullshit. But still, we don't know the extent to that shit. Right, right, and and it's you know the timing is weird, right? <laughs> um, so and then poor righteous teachers and 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 brand nubian you know right they don't want that's not what they want to promote nowadays so that's that's my thing with with the mm -hmm. whole thing um and then mm -hmm. yesterday i went out the house i forgot what the hell did i got oh i went to go i went to go talk to the plug yesterday shout right. out to my homie who were nameless. remain nameless <laughs> right nameless, but he was on right. time i like that um I, I i got out the car and then i heard something that's not really my style of music and the cadence was literally and i said is this the same cadence i've been hearing for the past seven years is y'all using the same exact fucking same. cadence over yeah. and over and over, over, and, over and over again man. like come on man that's my beef man but this is a creative sport right here man don't come that's out what I thought. acting like g-rap i mean and herc and these guys didn't show us what real poetry sound like try motherfucker right. Nigga, try. try. That's all I'm saying. You ain't got, you're not going to, everybody can't be nice. Nigga, try. Try. That's Shit. It, bro. So with all this talk going around about the artist contracts and Conan Masters, what is your approach as a label head um, as it relates to equity for the artist? That's, well, shots out the cold, man. Like, that's, all she's about is making sure the artists are good, man. Right. That's it, man. And, you know, like, even with this, you know what I'm saying, with this project, you know what I mean? We spent a lot of money, but we made sure every artist was good and we gave them what they wanted, you know what I mean? Even the video was. The code on this. You executive. Yes. Got yes. It. Yeah. Right. So, you know, we just made sure, like, we want to, basically going forward, we want to give you premium shit, but we don't want to, like, we're not trying to own any masters except for our own. And, like, we're not trying to, you know, own somebody or, you know what I mean? That's why we're not even trying to sign anybody right now. We're just trying to put out good music. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Okay. Yeah. So, um, let me ask you this question. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot of upstate energy on this album. I mean, I know you got PA on there, which we'll talk about right. that in a minute. Um, That's my guy. Man, PA. <laughs> That's my brother, y'all. You don't even uh, understand. Salute. I bow down to PA. I got to say God. that. Um, and people need to, man. He don't get He don't get enough credit, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm scared to talk to Planet. I've been trying. I'm trying to get the interview, but I'm actually scared in real life. Oh, nah, no, don't be scared, bro. I, I, I set that up for you. Uh, man. Planet is is real cool, man. He'll just give you the real. That's it. It's just it's like um, it's like opening up like 
a Bible or something. Like it's mm. with PA is so much information. Bro. And it's so much um surgical delivery over such a long period of time. You don't see this guy slip. It's just all like and so a guy like that, it's almost like he a fucking alien. And you like Man. you don't know how to approach having a conversation with a dude that's on Mount Rushmore. I mean, let me just stop doing this with the Planet Age thing right now. But um, <laughs> I hey. already know how you feel, bro. I feel the same way, man. That's like he don't get enough recognition, man. I swear. Yeah. So are, are, are let me ask you: Are the boroughs starting? Are they gonna start taking notes from Upstate right now? Because yeah, know, Upstate got the energy right now. They do, and shouts out to them, man. Uh, shouts out to them for bring for bringing that energy back. You know what I mean? I wasn't, you know, I, I didn't fall into that into that trap of trying to do, you know, what these other niggas was doing. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, I started really taking the music serious 2011. You know what I mean? And and I met I met Sean, like, 2012, 2011. And, you know what I'm saying? And it just went off from there. But, like, I've never fell into that trap or switched my music up. Like, I've always kept it to my sound and where I'm from. You know what I mean? And, you know, some, you know, some, you know, a lot of artists, I've I seen it. I was in there. I, I've watched the resurgence, you know what I'm saying? I've seen artists who was doing the trappy shit. And then, you know, shots out Griselda, shots out The Claw, shots out J Jamal Gasol, shots out all the upstate dudes, man, that, that just came in, you know what I mean? And showed us, not, you know, showed us. Like, yo, man, we ain't got to fucking do that shit. Like, just be from here. Like, we can respect it, but we could do what the fuck we do. You know what I mean? And niggas cannot hate on that at all. Like, if right. you're hating on that, you a sucker. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? You a sucker, and that means you was doing that trappy shit. That was you. So you hating on them niggas. And I'm, I can't, I'm never hating on the man. And me personally, my nigga, I'm not, I'm not competing with nobody. I think getting this shit to compete with none of these niggas. I don't give a fuck about being the best. I just give a fuck about making timeless shit. You know what I mean? Like this this album right here, Poetic Substance, is still getting talked about right now. You I'm know what I mean? That too. Right. I got yeah. albums that's still getting talked about to this day, and that's what the fuck I'm about. I'm about fucking my music being timeless. I don't give a fuck if it's not a million people. You know what I mean? I had two people hit me about Uganda lunch. Week. You know how long I put that album out? Come on, man. Like that's that means a lot to me. That's timeless. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if it's two people. I don't give a fuck if it's one person. As long as one person could connect with my shit, I know I'm doing what the fuck I'm doing. The score, man. Hey, but speaking about yeah. you specifically, you, RJ Payne, and Rome Streets on Corner Pocket. Woo! Mm. Woo! Talk to me about yeah. those two phenomenal MCs, please. Rome Streets, oh, RJ Payne. Oh, my God, man. First of all, let's, let's go with RJ Payne, man. Shouts out my nigga RJ Payne, man. Like, the way he came into this shit, and just like really just bullied his way through the door, man. Like, I love that shit, man. And he got bars all day, you know what I'm saying? So I had to reach out to him to put him on this shit, you know what I'm saying? He had a, um, a mixtape called Ghost of Sean Price that he reached out to me to get on, you know what I'm saying? He had to reach out to me, you know right. what I mean? He was already buzzing, so he respected my art and I respected his and that's mutual respect, you know what I'm saying? That's all it, it don't have to be, you don't gotta be my nigga, but respect my art, you know what I'm saying? And I respect this shit and we could be cool, you know what I'm saying? So shouts out to him, you know what I mean? That's a damn sure uh, uh, one of my favorite MCs right now. You know what I mean? And Rome Streets, man, that's my, that's my dude, man. Like, you know, um, I got a little, like, I don't have a little collective, but I'm in a collective, you know what I'm saying, with, with a group of MCs that's on this project, you know what I mean? We call it the Walkers. And it's like a, um, a DITC meets brand new being type thing. You know what I mean? We're not a group. Yeah, we're not a group, but we're a collective. And that consists of Rome Streets, Eddie Kane, Spoda, Bubba Rock, Ty Farris, um, Cole Nine, uh, John Jiggs, Aida, uh, China oh, Streets. She's crazy, too. Aida on this Ooh, yes. Nice. Aida, China Goodness. Streets. Yep. Yeah, she she get busy. Smooth, smooth, album, smooth, yeah, smooth fucks with us. Um, Ooh, and uh, yes, and water. You know what I mean? We try and get water down with us. See, he fucks with us, so water's down with the team too. So yeah, we, we just a collective man, and and that's it, man. So Rome is man. Rome is fucking out of this world, man. Like I was, I was about to like just his go whole, right there. Rome streets, man. Yeah, he he's fucking out of this world, man. He, like the way he listens to the beat. He listens to the beat different. That's like my man, like my partner who I who I who I rap with, you know what I mean? He's not rapping no more like that, but he's still 
you still, you still get busy. But like that, the same way I, I looked at my partner is the same way I'm looking at him because my partner, he like he has a different bot to the beat, how I call it. Like the he villain, listens to the beat. Name? Yeah, Peter. Um, his name, Pete, yeah, Peter Villain, yeah. He listens to the beat different, you know what I mean? And that's why his cadence is so crazy and it, it's just, it goes different to the beat. He's like, he sounds like an a uh, instrument. Yeah, I don't want to cut you off, and I love how you talk about No, no, no. It, but I'm going to forget, because right. I'm an old dude. Um, right. <laughs> I had a conversation with somebody last night about Peter Villain. And mm. it's in my notes somewhere, and I'm going to ask this question again. I have to edit it out, because I'm just all... But listen. No. Nah. The song that you... Um, Side Blocks. <laughs> Oof. Phenomenal. That's... If y'all watch this, go watch, go, go watch the video for Side Blocks. Um, mm -hmm. S-I-D-E-B-L-O-C-C-S. Yes. Uh... And then I'm told that this, he that he has decided not to rap anymore. And I'm here to I don't beg men for nothing, but I'm here to beg right. men to start rapping again. Oh, you don't understand. I, I beg him all the time. You know what I mean? But you can't yeah. force it. And you know why he he didn't he stopped rapping for a good reason. He just had a he got a three year uh, a two year old actually two year old boy. He's heavily into training. You know what I mean? He does training crazy. He's like a master trainer. He got all his certificates and shit. Wow. And he reads a lot. You know what I'm saying? So he's oh. like he really took a hiatus to. Just get to in tune with himself, and I can't, you know, we, me and Pete grew up together on the same block, so it's it's more than rap. It's deeper right. than rap. That's my brother. Like that's my heart. That's my our family know know each other. Like we we basically family. You know what I mean? So it's like it's it's deeper than rap. But that's my favorite rapper, bro. I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. I'm about to get him tuned in with him because I didn't know about yo, him. So yeah, and he crazy with it. Yo, listen to our mixtape hosted by Sean Price and. PF Cutting. It's, it's called Broken Eggs. I will. That was our first project. To you got to ask me twice. You got to ask right. me twice. Y'all boys are flame. But you got a video dropping yeah. today. I mean, I'm recording this on a particular day, but tomorrow right. is Friday. When By the time they see this, you're dropping it today. What's the what's yes, song dropping? Barracuda is featuring Guilty Simpson, uh, Knowledge the Pirate, and Lord Juco. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait. Produced by Big Ghost. When y'all... I, yeah. I, I, all I know is I, when I listen to that, first of all, pain is so like intimidating. <laughs> right, right, right. Pain right. is dead and serious. Right. And then the rest of that whole song, it's like it's some bar work on there, yo. I'm right, not gonna right. I'm not gonna say too much about it. People gonna have to go check this out. Um but you from right. Brownsville, right? Yes, sir. Um is 73rd race. Precinct is, has got an infamous history out there, right? 73rd. Fuck them niggas. Fuck yes. the seventy third. Yeah. Definitely. Was that the Amadou Diallo situation? Uh, I think um, it was. I, th I think it was a I mixture of, both, of two precincts. Okay. Yeah, I think it was a mixture of two precincts, yeah. And so what's not sure. like on the ground right now with the cops out there? I mean, you know, it's, it's, it is it is what it is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, you know, at the end of the day, <clears throat> they let they letting us rock a little bit in the hood. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, they, they, it's not, you know, they still getting, you know, doing what they need to do, but as far as letting us just, you know, especially in the summer, you know, with fireworks and shit like that. And, you know what I mean? Like, I've, I've you know, shots out Marcus Garvey, you know what I mean? I was over there with my nigga Smacks. Shots out my nigga Smacks. Uh, he was doing a video and niggas was popping, like, fireworks, like like we was on a boardwalk somewhere and, like, big stupid shit. And nigga, beat walks on the corner taking video, just looking at the shit in amazement. Right. You know what I'm saying? So... But other it's, than it's that, been, at the end of the day, it's still fuck seven third. Of course, of course, I'm yeah. still fucking because it's still some bad until they get rid of them bad apples. You know what I mean? It's, right. It's always going to be. Don't tell me it's only a small percentage that's bad. Then the, y'all, y'all need right. to be telling on them bad ones then and getting rid of them then. Come on now, come you're on talking, now. We're asking us to tell on people. Y'all, you first. Right. Y'all, y'all fucking first. telling us to snitch, but y'all yeah. won't. Y'all got y'all own code. So you first. What the, yeah, exactly. You first. You first. And y'all do it. Then okay, we can talk. Can you right. drop some names of dudes in New York that's holding it down? I'm talking about the boroughs that's holding it down right now. I know Vado was doing this thing and a few others. Who do you like? Yeah, shouts out Vado. Shouts out, um, let me see. Who do I fuck? Rome Streets, Eddie Kane, Bub Rock, Spoda, John Jiggs, you know, shouts out all my walking niggas is doing they what, what they doing, you know what I mean? Um, who else? It's a bunch of dudes. I can't even let me see. Oh, my nigga Nems. Oh Nems. Shouts out okay. my nigga Nems, yeah. My nigga Nems is definitely holding New York down, you know what I mean? Hey, um, so um smooth. Bunch of dudes, man. All, all the New York dudes right now. 
Where's Smooth uh, from? Smooth from LA. Oh, that he's special too, bro. That dude, every single time I hear this dude's voice, he he different. Um, yeah, man. Now, being that I'm just now getting getting on to your work, um, and then I hear that you were Sean Price's protege. Talk to me about how you came to meet uh, Sean Price and what that relationship meant to you. Mm -hmm. First of all, shouts out Rusty Jux too, man, who's, who's been holding it down for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, so hold on. Let me finish. Uh, yeah, shouts out Rusty Jux, who's been holding it down for a minute, you know what I mean? Like, holding it down forever, basically. Hey, hold on, hold on, let's, stop. Let's, let's, stop. Uh -huh. let's just stop. Because I know before, I, was, I, I wanted to gloss over that. I'm not going to gloss over it. So before, cool. we got, before we got started with this interview, we, me and you both had things to do. You was doing fatherhood. Right, right, right. I just, I just want to put this on the table. You got mm -hmm. homeschooling. You got your right. baby girl there. You know what I mean? Right. She's getting her education at home because we're trying to stay safe in this quarantine time. I mean, you said, Definitely. hold up. I got to get my baby a plate for lunch before we get done with this interview. So let's get let's put this on the record. In case uh, <laughs> Bill O'Reilly get another show or Sean Hannity start talking some shit, there's a clip of somebody right. hip-hop <laughs> talking about a hip-hop father. He went to take care of the baby, and he's still doing it while we're doing the interview. Please continue. Thank you, no doubt, man. I've been a stay-at-home father for five years, man, and, and still doing hip-hop, you know what I mean? No, so, no, I mean, it's so it's been a blessing, you know what I mean? It's been a blessing, yeah. definitely. But, but yeah, shouts out to Rusty Jux, you know what I mean? That was Sean Price's first pro, Jay. And, and man, so the story with Sean, man, it, it's funny, man. Like I tell everybody, man, I knew who Ruck was in the rap, I, you know, Health the Skelter, and I knew who Ruck was in the street. I didn't know Ruck, but I knew of Ruck. I knew of, of, of Ruck. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I didn't put a face to it because I was still young, but I knew of a fucking ruck, and I knew, nigga, you don't play with ruck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In Brownsville, period. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Him and Seiko and all of them, like, I heard of all the names before I even met any of them dudes. First of all, he lived around the corner from me, from my block, to where I always, you know, block I grew up on. Okay. And um, around the corner was a store, so I saw Sean, Sean's store, he had, like, another spot where he had, like, a, um, a free, like, a battle. Mm-hmm. So me and, me and Pete, we was going to fuck with it at first, but then we seen who was in it, and we was like, ah, we already know we're going to win. It doesn't matter about bars, because, you, you know, one of the dudes lived in the building. And shouts out my nigga Ace. Ace get busy, you know what I mean? Yeah. He, he get busy, and we was just like, you know what? We're just going to leave it alone and just, you know, spectate. And Sean Price was judging the shit, bro. So let me tell you, man. <laughs> we was crying through, like, laughing through the whole shit. Like, me and my boy, like, all we do is laugh all day. We make jokes, but, you know, we get busy when we need to get busy. But yeah. we're not the type of niggas that just go start some shit. Right. And Sean was the same fucking way. And it's like, yo, that's crazy. You know what I mean? Funny as shit, but when it's time yeah. to get busy, you don't want to play with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we watching the whole video, and, man, he telling, like, he cutting niggas freestyle. He like, yo, yo, nobody won. Both of y'all niggas lost. Next, next people, man. The <laughs> shit was crazy. Yo, I need to find that video and really put that shit out, bro. Cause that shit is so funny, man. So when we, so when we saw those videos, I looked at my man, son. I promise you, and he'll tell you to this day. I looked at him. I said, son, we gonna fuck with Sean Price. He looked at me and says, that'd be crazy if we do. That ass, my nigga. And from then on, I put that shit in the air, man. And I manifested it, my nigga. From then on. I started getting on the social media. I didn't have social media. I fucking actually renounced that. I was like, man, I'm not fucking with that shit. Mm. And then I found out, man, you actually need that shit to help your music. You know yeah. what I'm saying? In this day and age, this is what you got to do. So I, I tapped into everything. You know what I'm saying? I tapped into Twitter first, and I found him. And I see he was wilding on that shit, blocking everybody. Wow. Everything. Right. So I was like, man, okay, I'm not about to start this shit off crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I just let it rock. And then what happens? I'm going around to the store one day. He in the store. The same store that, you know, I always go to this store. And I found out he always goes to the store. It's right across the street. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to walk up to him. Because first of all, you don't just approach Ruck. I'm thinking of it as, I'm not even looking at it as Sean Price no more. I'm looking at it as Ruck, nigga. This is Ruck. Had a D-set. D-set, nigga. Trincon. This is Ruck. Niggas hitting niggas with him is all type of this is rough. <laughs> so I, I like I hesitated, nigga, like, yo, all right, hold on. I'm like, fuck it, man. Like, I got that's my one shot. This is my shot. I'm gonna take it or not. Right. I went up to him, I said, yo, peace, Ruck, you know what I mean? He's like, yo, what up? I was like, yo, man, I'm gonna give you this. 
He took it and he looked at it. He looked at me, looked at me up and down. He said, what's these raps and beats? I fucking hesitated like, oh. <laughs> I said, yo, it's, I said, it's, <laughs> all right. I said, yo, I said, yo, it's raps, man. He looked at me again I said, all right, and put it in his pocket. Mm. I was like, all right, and I was walked out. I had my number on there and everything. So like three weeks, a month passed. He ain't never called me. I see him on Twitter. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Then one of my men shouts out Humble Steve, Rich, that he grew up with that was from my block. I just happened to be on the block one day. And he's like, yo, Rim, yo, Rim. I'm like, what's up, nigga, what up? He's like, yo, I was in, I was in Rut Crib, and that nigga was playing the shit. Whoa. I looked at that nigga like, man, get the fuck out of here. Nigga. You lying. Like, right, get the. He's like, where's the mother? That's my nigga. I was in the crib chilling. I was like, yo, I know them niggas. And he was like, Sean. He was like, Sean. I was like, man, you don't know these niggas. Shut the fuck up. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, right. So, right. So, right. So, we, so we both giving him the same shit. Like, man, shut up, nigga. You wasn't with Sean Price, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. He's like, yeah, I was, nigga. I'm like, word? So, I was like, yo, this nigga really fuck on us. So, I was like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna hit this nigga on Twitter. So he didn't know I was the same nigga on Twitter. And he wasn't following me. Oh wow. So, I just, I, so he had right, he happened to post the same store I gave him a CD in and was like, yeah, I'm in here, and I'm about to get a little sandwich and shit. And I was like, and I put cookie store, because that's what everybody called it in the hood. Mm -hmm. And he was like, and he put exactly. He he responded to me. So I was like, oh my God, that's not right. He responded to me, it was cool. And I just said, fuck it. I said, yo, how much for a feature? My nigga, the nigga hit me back and like instantly and said on the Twitter and said one ninety nine. One hundred. Right, I could pull dollars. One. He just typed one nine nine, nigga. Yo. <laughs> Yo. What? Right. So right. So you. I was like, what? I'm like, nigga, I'm coming to your crib right now, nigga. <laughs> so yo, he 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 followed me. He he, he messaged me his number. I called him. He was like, what you doing? Come through. I was like, all right. Nigga, yeah, I, grabbed the, I grabbed weed. I was bumping weed. I called my man, Pete. I was like, nigga, Sean said come through. He was like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, nigga, bring, bring all the weed, nigga. <laughs> bring all the weed. Bring it so, all. Yeah, bring all the weed, nigga. Right? <laughs> so, nigga, yo, this is when, you know, me and Pete was doing our thing. So we had, we had a lot of shit going on. So we had a lot of blood at the time. And nigga, we bought all the weed, nigga. We bought all the weed. We went over there and we kicked it with Sean for about four hours, my nigga. Wow. We met his wife. Shots out Bernadette. We met his, we met his children. We was at the table chilling with him, just talking about who we knew. You know, we was just talking regular shit, talking about life, talking about music, talking about everything, my nigga. And, and like, so I brought up the song. The song was Bucktown. Mm. Right, me and me and P already had did our verses. We was like, yo, you know, we want you, on, we want you on this song. He was like, all right, play it. I play, and this was like two hours after just building and talking and laughing and smoking and shit. You know what I'm saying, first time meeting, and we laugh, we laughing, smoking, chilling, like you know, he touching us, you know, we touching him, like yo, this shit crazy. And it was like, yo, this you fucking with Sean Price right now. Like me and my man still was looking at each other, like son, you know what I mean? So then he's like, play the song, play the song, and. Cut. That nigga was like, yo. He was like, now. He was like, you know, a lot of my friends and, you know, a lot of people we know try to do our songs over and we shitted on them. We deaded them. Like, no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, you know, my nigga still perform this song. You know, when they go and do, you know. And I was like, nah, no doubt, no doubt. So he was like, I'm going to listen to it. But if, it, if it's whack, I'm not fucking with it. Yeah. All right, give me one second, okay? I'm doing the interview, all right? All right, one second. So he was like, um, he was like, you know, they still perform this, you know what I mean? It's whack, bro. I'm, I can't do it. We got to do something else. I said, nah, no doubt. Nah, we, me and my man was like, nah, it's cool. So he played it. He let it play. My man, my P start off. He start off with his shit. He start moving his head. He's like, who this? And I was like, that's him. He's like, so he's looking, he bobbed, he's like, mm. P verse, P verse finished, right? And then we put him in the middle, so it was a blank space. And he was just like, you know, so he was listening. So while he was li listening to the blank space, he was just, you know, mumbling shit. And then my verse came on, and he was like, oh. You know what I mean? And he was like, oh, okay. 
He liked the way I freaked it. And then he said, hold on, hold on, run that whole shit back. So I played it all over again. And he was bopping. And he stopped and he was like, yeah, I'm going to fuck with this. He's like, I got to get busy. Okay, yeah, y'all niggas killed that. He's like, what else y'all got? So we played him some other shit. He's like, woo, he's like, yo. I gave him $199, my nigga. And he didn't want it. He, like, after the song, I get, I said, yo, so hit him, hit him 199. And he's like, what? No, 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 I'm gonna do it. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is what you said. If you want more, I'll give you more. Right. He's like, no, no, no. I was like, here, so take this 199, nigga. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. And I appreciate you doing the verse for us. You know what I'm saying? He's like, that's peace. You know what? I'm gonna take my wife to the movies. I was like, all right, cool, no nice. doubt. So, so we left, and I left Bud over there. He called me. He's like, yo, you left like a quarter over there. I was like, keep that shit. That's bud? It. Yeah, keep it, man. Like, I don't listen. You first of all, you doing a verse for one ninety nine. Keep the bud. Nigga. You can like, never afford even... it. You can never afford nah, that. Son, shit. I can never afford that. So like, just keep that, my nigga. You know what I mean? Even with the little hustling I'm doing, nigga, that's gonna take everything, nigga. Here, just keep yeah. that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I ain't gonna hold you, my nigga. It took him about three months till he did the verse, but he was going over there every day, just chilling, smoking, not even talking about music. Nigga, it just grew into a fucking relationship. Like, I wasn't even concerned about the music. No and more. I gotta say this. I don't mean to uh -huh. cut it. It's not nah. about what 50 Cent can't afford a Sean Price feature. Nobody has enough money to actually afford a Sean Price feature. You might just compensate this man, but whatever you got, it's not worth what he about to do to it. I'm going to just say that. You know, a few months passed. You know, he had, been, he had went on an overseas tour and everything. Like I said, I was still at the crib every day. And then um, when he came back for the tour, he hit me like a week later and was like, yo, come get me. We going to the studio. Oh, wow. I was like, all right. Right. I was like, all right. I hit one of my mans. I hit my nigga Smoke. I said, yo, let's go get this nigga. We went and got him. I picked up Pete. He went to the studio. He put the beat on. He wrote that shit in 15 minutes, my nigga. I sat him right. I watched him pen that shit in 15 minutes. He did the verse. Came out. And just did mad other shit and, and was like, yo, y'all niggas just write to, like, we was just writing to what he was doing. You know what I mean? And, and, like, that's how I kept my pen up. So one day we was at his crib and he was like, yo, I got a show, Red Bull, you know what I mean, um, next week. And we was like, oh, well, nice, nice. You know, we gonna, we gonna show out. We popping up to that. Deep. He was like, yeah, y'all niggas showing up because y'all performing. And we was like, what? Nigga, like, we, we ain't never performed ever in our life. Did wow. none of that. This is our first time just, you know, getting really getting serious with this shit. So, nigga, this was a Red Bull concert. Yeah. So it was it was a little ball, but it was packed. You know what I mean? So he, we performed in a Bucktown song. So we get there, and the shit come on. My man Pete go first. The crowd start going crazy. Let me tell you why they start going crazy. I'm dog skin, my man light skin. They thought we were Smith and Wesson at first. Uh, so, yeah, right. You know what I mean? Because of the song, right. Yeah, but yeah. When they, when, once they started hearing the different bars, they was like, oh, okay, this is different. And then P came on, started doing his shit, and they was like, oh. So P kind of like, he kind of like um, forgot the word, like forgot a little bit of the words because it was a new shit. Like, he just basically did the verse in 15 minutes. So then we stopped it and we brought it all the way back. You know what I'm saying? So we got to do the song twice, and the crowd went crazy. Like, uh -huh. Sean did his verse again, murdered that shit. I did my verse, bodied that shit. Like, it, the footage is on YouTube. And, like, Drew was in the back the whole time. And Drew was like, he liked it. You know what I'm saying? Drew. So after that night, my nigga, yeah, Drew Ha. So after that night, you know what I'm saying, two days later, because he hit me, and he was like, yo, I'm fucking with y'all. And now I saw the video for... um. The thunning. Um, it's, mm. you pay homage Shout to one of my all time, dude. You pay homage to 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 Prodigy, who I'm a huge mm -hmm. Mob fan. Love Prodigy. Um, what's the significance of Prodigy in, in your life? Did, did you know him? Briefly. So basically, you see this line right here. This this hat, Barth. Shout out my brother, uh, B Gold NYC. I'm um, I'm part of that company too. My brother makes clothes. And uh, if you see Snoop, Snoop wears the glasses with the B on it, yeah. and he always has the B clothing on. That's yeah. my brother, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Even at 50 Cent, we did pop, yeah, we did power hats for 50 Cent. We did, we did, you know, we messed with a lot of people. So, you know, Prodigy was one who, who uh, you know, attracted to my brother because of his clothing, and you know, they was actually doing a secret clothing line. And he just, you know, he he liked my brother, so you know what I mean? He met me, he found out, you know. 
Prodigy actually fucked with me, man. And that was, that's another person who like, you know, like you said, who I looked up to and was like, yo, man, for, for these artists to say that they fuck with me and my music, yeah. it's crazy. Like I, I ain't never pressed Prodigy for pitches or like, yo, listen to this or none of that. He always made it his, 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 you know, made his way to come to me and be like, yo, I heard what you, I heard that and that shit was fire. I was like, her? Damn, that mean a lot. Like, you know, even to the acting shit, shouts out in the G. I'm in a web series called New York Minute. And um, he, you know, he was like, he told me one time, like, yo, man, I watched that shit because of you, bro. You know what I mean? And that, you know, that fucking hit me. He actually did a verse, a hook for me and Pete. You know what I mean? For free. You know what I'm saying? I asked him how much, and he was like, bro, I'm not going to charge you your family, nigga. And I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So even for that short amount of time I met him, he seen how genuine I was, and I seen how genuine he was, man. And, and we clicked, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, his short time passing, man, like that shit affected me a little bit like Pete, because even though I, I, I knew Pete longer, you know what I mean? It's just that, you know, both of them embraced me, man, and they didn't have to, bro. You know what I'm saying? And they felt that I was that talented or just that cool, for them to just embrace me and, you know, and just teach me things and talk to me and just to tell me that, you know, I'm good, man, and I'm worth it and it's all that, man. Like, well, rest in peace, Prodigy. And I know you just was talking about merch, too. People, they usually can't see this shit, but now they can oh, see Oh, yeah. It. Shop the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow them on IG, at Shop the Ends. Okay, shout I'm out like, to them. They, they'll see me wearing shit all the time because I'm really low on no gear. Um, and I'm seeing no you doubt. wearing... Porterhouse right there. Can we Porterhouse, see man. We, we got our own merch too, man. You know what I mean? We got hoodies. Yeah. We got, we got sweatshirts like this. We got t-shirts. We got aprons. You know what I'm saying? We got physical CDs. Poetic substances on there. Phys the website is fly CD. as fuck too. You got the choice. Thank you, man. man. Yo, I like right. that. Right. Hey, so I'm assuming you're going to put one of them in the mail for me. Everybody tell me they're going to send me merch. Don't nobody send me pounds. I got pounds. you, bro. Shout to pounds. <laughs> so Pounds, <laughs> the hook. Pounds hooked me up. Uh, I know Edo got me. Um, I'm going to yeah. hook you up, bro. Make sure you send me your address. <laughs> I'm going to hook you up personally. Definitely. I got you. Watch. Yeah, I'm going to send you a nice pack. Nice. nice Thank you. And I am going to rock it on cam. I know you are. I know. Yeah. I got Thanks. you. I'm um, send you a nice patch. So, oh, in the video for Side Blocks, uh, you, you, you. I can see that sillier side of you coming out. It's it's a little, it's like Sean Price, like we talked about this before, kind of gritty, but also, is it important for you to show that side of yourself through your music and through the videos? Yes, sir, because it's me. Mm. You know what I mean? And this is what this is why me and, and Sean, man, like we we connected, man. Like you know, like you know, I'm gonna say this, man. One time we was out at a at a you know doing a show, and you know he was down there doing interviews and. You know, he told you know he told one of the dudes like, "Yo, man, interview him as my little brother." You know what I'm saying? And he and I was like, you know what I mean? Like I, you know, and I, I know sometimes you know people just say that shit to say that's my little bro, but the way he said it, you know what I mean? And the dude looked at me like, "That's your big brother?" I was like, "Yeah, it's my big bro." You know what I mean? And you know, later that night, you know, I was talking to him and I was like, "Yeah, son, thought I was your brother and shit." He's like, "Yeah, well, you know what I mean? You think I just say that to say that say that about anybody?" Wow. You know what I'm saying? You know, he was never the sentimental type. And if we did get sentimental, he's like, oh, don't be gay. You know what I mean? Right. No disrespect <laughs> to the gay people. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But you know, you know what I mean? Like, nigga, oh, he gay. Look, he you crying. You know what I mean? I'll yeah. say some shit like, hey, you about to cry. You know what I mean? But, you know, he was always like that type of dude to sh show his, uh, you know, that he, that he fucked with you. You know what I mean? And that meant a lot to me. Like, it don't mean a lot to people, man. And I don't give a fuck about a cosign, man. But that, that's one cosign I will always respect. And I will, I will always rep Sean to the fucking day I stop doing this shit. I will never stop repping Sean because he ain't have to do none of the shit he did for me at all. And I noticed that so much. Um, what's the what's the what's Ruck Down? So basically, man, he had a song called Ruck Down. You know what I mean? And when I first saw it, like me and my man was crying after shit because the video was funny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the song, he just saying like Ruck is running the label now. Yeah. So you know what I mean? So. One day on Twitter, man, I was like, you know what? I'm fucking with Ruck Down, nigga. We Ruck Down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Sean, and Sean just replied back and was like, yeah. Yeah, you are Ruck Down. Yeah, it's Ruck Down. And we just ran with it. When, when, I, when I think about Sean Price, mm -hmm. and this is why I do reach out to people and I try to talk to the people I really want to talk to. And um, because Sean Price is a guy, like, every time I see his face, when I see the videos, I hear the voice, I go... That's one I would have loved to um, be able to have sat and talked with. Right. 
um, would have been a great conversation. Um, okay. So Caught Sleeping, the song, uh -huh. song is so dope. Um, Shouts out John Glass, man. And for... Um, for that, uh, for that last joint that you like with my man P, shots out Al Capella. My blocks, yeah. And that, yes, listen, I, I love a classic. I love a classic New York video. I, I love when <laughs> put the, the city on display. Um, right. And so the chorus is like, if you get if you caught slipping, that means you asleep. You asleep. All I need, <laughs> Rick, I'll be back in a week. Back in a week. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me about creating that song and that video. Oh, man. So shouts out John Glass, man. Let me tell you something about that beat, man. I got that beat two years before the song dropped. And when I first heard that beat, I was doing, I was just finishing Uganda Lunch Me, and I was starting on DOA. And that beat there, I was like, yo, this shit right here, no, I got I to gotta put this shit to the side. I need to take my time with this. This shit right here got that feel. I, like, I didn't even want to rap to the beat at first. I was like, man, this, I just love listening to this shit. Like, mm. Yeah. Just that whole Nina um, Simone reference and, and like just the whole shit was just vibey, man. Like I was like, hold on. So then when I finally like I finally had some time and I got to it, it was just like, man. Like the first thing I came up with was to post it up with no timeline. To, you know what I mean? And then it was just like after that, it was just the hook just came. Man, she called sleep and then the mean, you know what I mean? And yeah. man, that shit, I don't know, man. Like that shit just. I'm glad I, I, I waited to do it because I don't think I would have came up with the same shit that I came up with. It's so I, yeah. Dope. Song yeah, is appreciate called that. Caught Sleep and go check that out. That's one of my favorite songs ever that I ever did. And videos. It's so like, dope. I love the it. Video is so New York. Like Yeah, I, bro. And, <laughs> and I gotta yo, remember this in my, I gotta remember this in my mind because I said this to my girl last night. I gotta remember I'm talking about the the same video right now. Is that the one where you had the bubble coat USA? Coat, yeah, um, the polo one. Yes, sir. I told my Shout girl, I said, yo, I, gotta have, I said, that coat. So you see this coat? <laughs> and then my girl, yeah. be she said, hey, on the back, it say M-A-G-A in big letters. And I was like, nah, no. She was like, nah, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> 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 she, she like, I said, nah, I said USA on the back. That She's joint funny. Right. That's funny. That's funny, though. <laughs> hey, that coat, though. You still got that coat? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Shout out to the low lives, man. Shout out Thurston Howell. He from Brownsville, you know what I'm saying? They they inspired me too, man, growing up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Them dudes are the Shout out to them, definitely. Shout out to the low lives. Flyers, man. They is the flyers. Definitely. Flat the definitely. fuck out. Uh, uh -huh. So you was on the song Stress with Huss Kingpin on the 1994 album. Oh, man, yeah. Dude. Shout out to my nigga Huss, man. That's my uh, guy. Man, Huss is crazy. How important mm -hmm. is a guy like 38 Special right now? Oh man, he's first of all, man. Like I, I, I was in, I was in one of Thirty Eight Specials old, old videos that he don't even remember. You know what I mean? I'll be bringing it up to him. You know what I'm saying? Because one of my men, because Cool G Rap was shooting it, and and uh, shots on my man DJ Mace. He was actually um, Cool G Rap's DJ at one point, so I was always around G Rap. Shots out G Rap, mad cool too, man. Another so fucking you tell dude. Tell me that Cool G Rap had another DJ besides DJ Polo. Yeah, I mean, I mean, at the at the moment when he was, you know, going back on European. You trying to tell like me that. it ain't no fucking Santa Claus out here? <laughs> what Cootie <laughs> and DJ Polo? Not like, somebody took DJ Polo's place. Oh man, for for that moment, you know, what I'm saying it wasn't even a taking the place of. It was just, you know, I don't think DJ Polo was just available at the time. You know, what I'm oh, saying so. My okay. man stepped in. Okay. Yeah, my man DJ May stepped in and, and rocked it and killed I'm the fucking, I'm fucking with you. Nah, it's all good. Nah, I, hear you say. I like it, bro. Yeah. So, um, yes, and 38 Special, man, like, I salute his grind, bro. Like, I, I've watched him grind, too, man. Like, he never conformed, man. That's why I said shouts out to them upstate dudes, man, because they never conformed to the bullshit. They never said, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try the trappy shit just to get on. No, they stayed to their sound, man, and they waited their turn, you know what I mean? And they deserve all the credit that they're getting right now, bro, because 38 Special, man, he came in this shit, you know what I mean? And he just, you know, he invested in himself, bro, and, and he gave him everything that, he's, that, he, Look what's going that he deserves on. back. Over at Trust, Ransom, Shay, Class. Yeah, right? man. Like, and shouts out to them. Like, I'm, I'm part of that whole Trust movement, too, man. You know, he, he 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 hit me up and hit everybody else up personally, and we and he invited us out to brunch, man. We went to brunch. We were dressed in all white. He all white. I seen the pictures. Yep, he took us to a fancy restaurant out there, man. Like, yo, it was so funny, man. 
like people was looking at us like you know what i mean like people was coming up to us and asking us what we do and like the first time they asked us you know i was saying the next special special was about the answer i was like we're doctors we just graduated from doctor school you know what I mean? And yo, I had the whole table rolling. And we just kept it at that. Like, yeah, we're doctors. We graduated from doctor school. Like, yes. don't tell these niggas we fucking rappers. Fuck right. that. You know what I mean? I'm right. tired of the fucking stigma and like, no, we we fucking we, we here, man. We, right. we why don't you ain't asking nobody else what they here? We can afford everything we asking for. Yeah, just, like what the fuck, man? We here. Yes. And we shot a video for Shay and um my, my nigga Lord Fleet. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Fred the Godson. He was there too. So, you know, that whole thing was a trust movement. And he explained it at, at the brunch. Yeah, PA, Rome Streets, Todd Ferris. You yeah. know what I'm saying? M Mussolini, um, G4 Jag. Shout out to my nigga G4 Jag, the Fly family. You know what I mean? Like you said, um, classic. All these, man, all the niggas was there. So, this, at the end here, we're about to get into. Because um, me and you could talk forever. But we're going we're gonna to do the rapid fire. Mm -hmm. So, first thing come to your head, just let it rip. Um, <laughs> I think this is my first time doing rapid fire like this. So, as fast as you can, kind of like answer these questions, and let's go rapid fire. Um, is Burger King a legit chicken nugget? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with a woman. How many times in your life have you gotten to the moment of truth? Realize that it was probably a mistake, but you still closed the deal. How many times? Once. Once it happened. Once. Once. <laughs> because she Once. didn't look right in the face. Is that was the problem? Definitely wasn't the face. It was the attitude. Oh, got you. All right. Uh, favorite comedian of all time? Yeah. Oh, man. Fuck. Chris Tucker. Wallabies or Tim's? Chris Tucker. Huh? Wait, no. Wallabies or Tim's? Tim's. Okay. Boxer or brawler? Oh, who? Tim's. Okay. Who? I think I'm going to delay. I don't know. Boxer or brawler? Oh, boxer. Chubby thick or skinny thick? Chubby thick. Links or yeah. patties? Who? Links or patties? I don't eat meat, so I'm going to go with patties. Jodeci or boys to men? Jodeci. Gummy bears or gummy worms? Gummy bears. Choke him out or let him live? Choke that nigga out. This, <laughs> this or that. This or that. This. Who's the this? Are you gonna do it with that? You could do it with this, or you could do it with that? You can do it with this. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, right. I think the correct answer to this or that is that. Because this that we got in the White House right now, we gotta go. So I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna go with that. You're yeah. right. Yeah, we're going with that, baby. <laughs> we're going with that. I don't need none of this right now. I need that, though. I need all of that right now. Hey, all of that, though. You've been a great sport. I'm sure you're going to be back on this platform again. You're very interesting. Please, man. Your, your, your music is flames, and we, we, got, we got a lot to talk about. Um, Definitely. Let the people know once one more time the name of the video that's dropping today. Barracudas, man, produced by Big Ghost, featuring Knowledge the Pirate, Lord Juco, and guilty fucking Simpson. Flames. And then where can um they get the album? You can you can buy the digital, you can buy the CD, and you can pre-order the vinyl and buy merch at porterhouseproductions.com. That's P-O-R-T-E-R-H-A-U-S Productions.com. All right. And I got um poetic substance CDs on there too. Right. Okay. That's what's up. Well, congratulations on this project. Once again, before we get out of here, I'm going to let everybody know this album, Steak and Potatoes, Volume 1, by mm -hmm. Porterhouse Productions, is a certified classic. Take that to the bank. Mike Powers said it. Take it to the bank. Um, Rim, thank you for joining us once again and blessing the platform. Um, All day. Yeah, and thanks for connecting with me, and now go connect with each other. Other than that, until next time, I'm Mike Powers. I'm out. So look.